Returning from service, the valiant soldier found his home in disarray. Before we embark on this captivating journey, we kindly invite you to show your support by engaging with our content. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a thoughtful comment stating, I've subscribed. Additionally, if you find this story as inspiring as we do, don't forget to share it with your loved ones. Your support means the world to us. The family dog expressed its excitement by wagging its tail so vigorously that its entire body shook. The children promptly switched off the Xbox and leaped with joy while the spouse entered for an emotional, joyful embrace. The homecoming of a soldier is typically a triumphant and picturesque event, bordering on magical. This was the anticipation as a National Guardsman came back to his residence after a perilous assignment in hurricane relief. Envisaging the enchanting moment of reunion with the exuberant dog, delighted son, and cheerful girlfriend, the soldier, Army medic Luis Ocampo, was met with an unexpected scene. His house in Charlotte, North Carolina, where he lived with his girlfriend Kaylee Finch and their son Lucian, seemed off kilter. Serving in the North Carolina National Guard, Lewis had responded to duty's call in September 2018 for a mission in hurricane relief. Hurricane Florence, a Category 1 storm, pounded the coastline with forceful winds and relentless rain, causing widespread flooding and the destruction of homes. In response, the National Guard deployed Lewis to the riverfront city of New Bern, an area severely impacted by the storm. Alongside local soldiers, Lewis engaged in the challenging task of navigating the aftermath, providing assistance to those in need of water, food, and other essentials. Amidst the chaos, 20-year-old Kaylee and her son Lucian opted for a safer haven away from Lewis's active duty. Specifically, she sought refuge at Lewis's parents' house, ensuring she wouldn't be alone for an extended period. During this time, the family dog remained at home, receiving periodic check-ins from Kaylee. The family endured this separation, living away from their home base. On September 21st, Lewis returned from his brief deployment in New Bern, having played a crucial role in helping affected individuals rebuild their lives. Anticipating a few hours of personal time upon his return, the soldier was met with a stark reality when he arrived home, devoid of the hero's welcome he expected, as Kaylee was still at his parents' house. Lewis was greeted by an unusual scene. The family dog, previously home alone, frolicking in the front yard. What added to the intrigue was the wide open back door, suggesting either the dog had acquired a new skill in opening it, or that an unauthorized person had tampered with it. However, the most alarming discovery was the propped open window of his son's bedroom, revealing signs of forced entry with a nearby shovel. Concerned about the possibility of an intruder still being inside, Lewis cautiously entered through the open back door. Fortunately, the house was empty, providing a slight silver lining to the unsettling situation. Yet any relief was short-lived as evidence of the intrusion became apparent. The trespasser had left a trail of chaos, tossing clothes around, stealing a laptop containing Lewis's vital schoolwork, absconding with a video game system, a firearm, and even pilfering food from the refrigerator. The soldier was left grappling with the unfortunate aftermath of the intrusion, with the violation of his personal space overshadowing the relief of his return. The burglars targeted a box of coins, a precious collection gathered by Lewis's grandmother from various parts of the world, an item of immense sentimental value to the 24-year-old soldier. Surveying the aftermath of the intrusion, Lewis could only bury his face in his hands, grappling with the loss. It was in this state of despair that Kaylee found him upon her return, prompting her desire to take action. Turning to Facebook, she composed a status, unaware that it would soon become a catalyst for change in their lives. My soldier, this soldier lost everything of importance. Kaylee's heartfelt post began. We're trying to spread the word and find out if anybody has any information on who may have taken it. Please share and let's see what we can uncover. A close friend of Kaylee's, Miss Elise Cochran, came across the post and was overcome with sorrow for the couple she cherished. Having worked closely with Lewis over the years, she knew him as an outstanding soldier and person. Driven by the desire to assist, Elise initiated a GoFundMe campaign. Expressing her admiration for Lewis, she wrote, I'm honored to know Lewis and cannot believe something so terrible could happen to someone so dedicated to service, family, and education. Setting a fundraising goal of $5,000, she believed it would be sufficient to replace the stolen laptop and firearm as well as repair the broken bedroom window. 
The outpouring of generosity was overwhelming, as donations flooded in relentlessly. In just 11 days, the GoFundMe campaign amassed thousands for the couple. Feeling uneasy about the escalating funds and not wanting to take advantage of people's goodwill, Lewis and Kaylee eventually asked Mary to shut down the fundraiser. However, their decision sparked an unexpected response from the public, urging Mary to reopen the campaign on their behalf. Witnessing the community's eagerness to support the beleaguered soldier made Lewis uncomfortable. In collaboration with Mary, they devised an alternative plan. Appreciative of the public's enthusiasm, Lewis, Kaylee, and Mary redirected new donations to the Soldiers and Airmen Assistance Fund, aiding local guardsmen facing hardships. Moreover, the couple selflessly allocated a portion of the nearly $15,000 in donation money to a fellow soldier who had been living in a hotel since Hurricane Florence had brought a tree down on his home. Lewis and Kaylee transformed a disaster into a positive moment, driven by their desire to reciprocate the generosity they had experienced. Reflecting on the experience, Lewis expressed, A big part of wanting to give the donations comes from seeing how generous people have been, and I wanted to pay that back to someone else who needed help.